Hi guys and welcome back to Makeup My World. Today I have for you a review of a new product I just saw at my local drugstore. It's these Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Colors and they have a full range and these I believe are going to be a part of their normal everyday range so you'll be able to pick these up. It's not going to be a special edition or limited edition um, product that comes out. So they kind of made the colors go across I and mean, they kind of look to me more spring or summery but they have you know a couple of nudes some bright pinks and a deep color here so why don't we go through each color and i'll let you guys know my thoughts okay so the first color we're going to talk about is the one that's actually on my lips it's this one here and it's called addiction and it is a deep berry color on other people it will probably be darker than it is on me it looks a lot darker in the the container than it is on my lips but it's a really nice creamy consistency I don't think you could actually call them true matte lip products they actually have a little bit of a shine I'm sure if I blotted off my lips maybe it would be a bit more matte but for something that's supposed to be ultra HD matte it's not very it's it's a little bit more satin than matte tone the applicator is a normal doe foot applicator I actually do like this a lot because the application with this doe foot applicator was really simple it did cover the lips really well it didn't have um, like you know sometimes with brushes you end up with the little hairs that you know don't quite go back into the product right so they're sticking every which way so I really do like this applicator it was really easy to you know, just slide on some product it is a buildable coverage, so you can go fairly sheer, you can go much deeper on it, and it doesn't have a really sticky feeling to it. It's a very comfortable, very moisturizing feeling. It's supposed to be a lip gel. It's not a cream or a lipstick, so I guess that's why it has more of a slip to it and a more natural feel to it. The only thing that's bothering me straight off the bat with these lip colors and I've swatched all of them so I know that they all have this scent to them and if you're really hypersensitive to sweet or sickly smelling things this might put you off to me the best way I can describe it and I don't know that everybody's gonna be able to understand but if you've ever gone by somebody who smokes one of those cherry cigars or a pipe or something like that it has that scent it's that very kind of like tobacco and cherry scent all mixed up into one. And it kind of goes away over time. But right now, since I just applied a little bit more, it's really bam in your face. And, you know, as I've worn it, it, it seems to have gone away a bit. But that's one thing that may put people off of this immediately so be aware but this is a really beautiful berry color and again this is addiction the next color is temptation it's this really beautiful bright fuchsia pink this actually went on a little bit more patchy than the previous uh, lip color I don't know if it's the formulation or it's just this particular batch maybe but I found that it was a bit more streaky and a bit more patchy when I put it on and I wasn't as impressed with the lip color out of the packaging it's a really bright pretty pink but it's one of those that you would wear on a special occasion or if you're somebody who wears a really bright you'd have to have the right skin tone to pull this off and I, I don't think that I do so couple of downers on this one is the color I don't know if it really fits in with a permanent range and the fact that it was a bit streaky did put me off this color so it's not something I'll, I'll be reaching for the next color is love and it is this orange tone red it is really a tomato colored red it's not one that I would normally gravitate to it has the same applicator this one did apply much more creamy a lot like addiction did the very first one that I talked about but this one again was just not my skin tone it didn't complement my skin tone very well because it is a red orange not a red blue i typically especially with this time of year i wouldn't gravitate towards this color red maybe in the summertime but 
really in all honesty for my skin tone i don't think this complimented it made me look a little sickly and yellow so this one will be definitely not one that i reach for the next color is obsession this is a very bright in your face hot pink color it's a really pretty color and I think I would definitely see myself wearing it to somewhere fun or on a special occasion. It's very bright. It's very in your face. The formulation wasn't too bad. I did find it a bit streaky, but after I blotted it off, I didn't think that the the um, way that it laid on my lips was overly awful. I do think that this is something I would gravitate towards every once in a while or I might mix it with another color to customize a color for myself you know amongst the six so I don't think it's something I would reach for every day but it's definitely a beautiful color and I didn't mind the application of this one too much it, it was actually pretty nice the next color is devotion it's this pinky brown nude color this one I think is probably my favorite out of all of the colors aside from addiction which I'm wearing this is a beautiful natural nude that would complement so many skin tones i think that if anybody is going to go out and buy one of the colors from this collection it should be this one it's very easy to match it's one of those that you can keep in your purse it's an everyday kind of color it went on like a dream and when i wore it it actually lasted it was one of those where um it left a bit of color behind as you're drinking and eating so I wasn't rushing to grab a color to reapply because I had patchy spots or anything like that it's because it's of the color it matches your under natural skin tone so as it fades it's just really gradual and it doesn't leave you looking like you have no product on I really did love this color in particular I think that if anybody wants to buy one of these colors from the range it should be this one and Again, this is called Devotion. I am definitely devoted to this color out of all of them. There's, this is really gorgeous. Okay, and the last color from the line is this one. This is a true nude, blank out your lips kind of color for somebody who's my skin tone. When I applied this, it literally kind of just blends into my skin. So if I'm going to do a really dark, dramatic eye, I will probably reach for this one. It was a nice creamy consistency it did glide on well it was really opaque when I put it on I didn't have any problems with streakiness or patchiness with this one the smell was there it was stronger again with this one I don't know if it's the the ones that go on really well it seemed to be a bit stronger in that scent but it did fade and I do like this it's not one that I would reach for all the time but definitely if I'm going to do a really strong eye I will probably reach for this because it's a nice nude that really nudes out your lips without making me look ghostly so I did appreciate this color being included in the range okay so that's my thoughts on the Revlon Ultra HD matte lip colors I did overall like half of the colors I'm not overly in love with these three colors right here which is temptation obsession and love but i did really love these three which is addiction seduction and devotion these are really beautiful colors that i think would complement multiple skin tones these are kind of more fun very specific if you like those orange toned really bright in your face colors i think the, these three would definitely be something that you'd reach for i i don't think that i'd have a problem with obsession every once in a while but it's not something i'm going to be reaching for on a regular but i am glad that i at least have three out of the collection that i will be reaching for on a regular basis i think if you guys are going to run out and get any of these concentrate on finding one of these three colors they're amazing the formulation is good they apply really well if you guys are looking for a little bit more jazz go for one of these colors okay everybody has different tastes i do like the packaging a lot i do like that they have the doe foot applicators i do like this kind of like frosted plastic look it's a nice take on a lipstick container it's nice and flat it doesn't actually have any edges that will catch on anything. I like that it's not square. It's just a really cute package. And I think Revlon always kind of keeps that in mind. They're always really big on packaging their stuff well. And I'm a sucker for cute packaging. So that's my thoughts on the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Colors. Overall, I think they're, you know, fairly good. 
I'm pretty much 50-50 on it. If you guys have any questions about the product and you'd like me to answer, please leave them in the comments below. If there are any other products out there that you'd like me to try again, leave it in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. As always, I would really appreciate it if you guys would be kind to one another. I watch so many YouTube videos and, and look through the comments and I see so many really atrocious things being said about people who work really hard on videos or about other people leaving comments or just nastiness in general. You know, just we don't need that and I would really appreciate it if you guys would just say something kind and do something nice for somebody today. And as always, be kind to yourself and don't ever be afraid to be your perfectly imperfect you. I'll see you guys later. Bye for now. Thank you for watching. Click on the video above to get another glimpse into my world. And don't forget to visit my website, MakeUpMyWorld.com for more details on me and the products reviewed here today. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. My details are below. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.